This is Debbie with Food Prepping Channel, and today I am making a dinner, and I just got up and decided that I wanted to cook. Um, so the one of the first things that I'm fixing is coleslaw. And This is my homemade coleslaw. Well, it's my mama's. My mom used to always fix this or whatever. And what I did was I grated up the cabbage. This is not the cabbage mix or whatever. I grated this up from a head of cabbage. And now the first thing I'm going to do is put um, mayonnaise in here. I've got Duke's mayonnaise. See it there. I'm gonna put that in here. And I really don't measure because I really don't know how much. That's probably three-fourths of a cup right there. It might even be a cup. I'm not sure. But I'm putting um, mayonnaise. I'm putting sweet pickle relish in here. And that, I usually always put the juice that's in the bottom of it and about a fourth of a cup and now I'm gonna stir this up see if it's enough and I don't think it's enough pickle relish in here so I just pour if I need some more I just pour some more in there I do it all by sight I guess this one and then I'll taste it after I get it everything in here to see if it's okay or if I need anything all right now the next thing that I'm going to put in here is sugar this is just regular granulated sugar in my sugar bowl <laughs> the sugar has gotten clumpy so <laughs> probably about a tablespoon I like my coleslaw sweet so probably about a tablespoon of sugar in here and then I'm going to put just a little bit of vinegar all right I'll bring you back I forgot to get the vinegar out okay I'm back all right so I'm going to put a I've just got White House apple cider vinegar and I'm going to put uh, probably about, that was probably about a three-fourths of a tablespoon. I don't think it was a whole tablespoon. But I'm going to taste this. I don't have any hot dogs. I love coleslaw on my hot dogs. But I just had to use this cabbage, so that's why. And it wasn't big enough to make, like, cooked cabbage, because, you know, cabbage does disintegrate when you cook it. <laughs> Alright, let me taste this. Wow. Alright. I'm going to put some I mean, salt and pepper. I can't reach over. because. Alright, I'm going to put pepper in here. This is just out of my pepper shaker. Well, and I knew I... Mm. All right, I'm going to try, and then um, Ashley's going to have to wash this all the way, empty out the pepper and everything, because it went down in it. Ashley. I mean, Brittany, where did I get Ashley from? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So there's the pepper, probably about a uh, half a teaspoon of pepper. And I don't put very much salt in here because like I said I want the I want it um sweeter. Alright, so Brittany's gone to wash the the um pepper shaker now and I'm gonna put this in a bowl and put it in the refrigerator and then I'll bring you back. I'm getting ready to fix some corn on the cob now and then I've got some other stuff that I'm fixing, and I will bring you back and show you what all I'm making today. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, so 
I have the corn is waiting in the Ninja Foodie. I'm going to um, pressure cook it in just in a little while. And here I've cut up um, two big zucchini and three little yellow squash. And I've put it in this pan and I've... Got about two tablespoons of avocado oil on here. And now I'm just gonna move it around and I'm gonna get Brittany to put me, put some, she's gonna put some salt and pepper on here for me. She's just gonna put it all over it. All right, a little bit more down here. All right, and now the pepper. This is coarse ground black pepper, and that was kosher salt. All right, and now I'm going to put the... I've got Morton's Nature Seasons Seasoning Blend, and this one says it's a delicious blend of salt, pepper, onion, and garlic that adds and brings out flavor without overpowering the dish. All right, so I'm going to put that on here, and then I've got two sweet potatoes that I'm going to put on another pan, and I'm going to cook those in brown sugar, I think brown sugar and butter maybe I don't know I've got to think about this one <laughs> well I, all right so these are going in the oven on 400 until they are done and I don't know how long that will be probably 30 minutes or so I just want to get these roasted and and cooked because I needed room in my refrigerator. My refrigerator was totally full. So I'm just baking stuff and, ro I mean, roasting stuff today and cooking stuff. I'm getting ready to fix a ham steak in the oven as well. So, all right, so I'm going to get Brittany to go and put these in the oven and I will bring you back with the next thing. Okay, y'all. All right, I'm back. All right, so y'all need to thank Brittany for cutting these um, sweet potatoes up because I did not have the strength to do it. And, and so, Brittany, look at them. They're just, like, perfect. And they're in this pan now, and I'm going to put... Uh, I'm probably... I think it's probably... Uh, this avocado oil, I get it from Walmart, Chosen Foods Avocado Oil, and it's probably uh, <laughs> not very much. I'm going to put butter on here, though, so. All right, so there's the rest of that bottle. So this is probably about a tablespoon of avocado oil that I put on here. And then I'm going to get Brittany to put salt and pepper on these. And then I'm going to put brown sugar and butter, and they're going in the oven on 400 degrees. And these will probably be for 45 minutes, probably. Look, doesn't she do it so good? Mm -hmm. All right, so let me get these out. mashed around or whatever because I can't think of my words today. I don't know what's going on with me today. I asked Brittany to go into the kitchen and I couldn't even remember what I told her to go in the kitchen for or whatever. I, I mean, it's I don't know what's wrong with me today. Alright. You know, I have never 
put salt and pepper on sweet potatoes because I have never fixed sweet potatoes like this before until uh, the past six months or so because my grandma and my mama always washed them and didn't peel them, washed them, didn't peel them, wrapped them in aluminum foil and put them in the oven and baked them like um, baked potatoes. And then we would put butter on them or brown sugar if we wanted. So that was not something that I've ever done in my life was put salt and pepper on my sweet potatoes. So... All right, so I'm going to go on and I'm going to put, it's going to be a lot, y'all, because you know that it's going to just kind of fall off of them as they cook. So, and then I've got about a half a stick of butter that I'm going to put on here. We've got the parchment paper on here. I need to get it pulled up a little bit over on this side. Yeah, there you go. All right, so hopefully the, I don't know, maybe I guess I better put some more on here. Who knows? All right, now the butter's going to go on here. And then Brittany's going to put it in the oven, and it's going to cook probably uh, 45 minutes. I'll let you know when it gets done how long it took. So I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. <laughs> All right. Um, I fixed these cucumbers for Brittany and I, and we're... was gonna eat them for when the dinner gets ready or whatever and anyway they were so good that we just started eating them but I put I cut up the one I peeled the cucumber cut it up into slices then I put vinegar in there and salt no I didn't even yeah I guess I did put I did put no, I didn't put any pepper in here. I put um, this season, nature seasoning, seasoning blend, which is salt and pepper and onion and garlic. I put that in here, and then I put Trader Joe's 21 seasoning salute, and then I put Trader Joe's chili lime um, seasoning blend in here. And I'm telling you, these are amazing. They are so good. Um, but I also forgot to bring y'all along as I was fixing the ham to go in the oven. And what I did was I had a ham steak. You can get them at Walmart, and they're not very expensive, and they're really good. Um... So I have the little, um, Pioneer Woman casserole dish, and I put the ham steak in there, and then I put mustard on it. I had mustard all on the ham steak, then I put brown sugar the rest of that little bag of brown sugar that i had left and then i got out a can of pineapple slices and put that and half, about half of the juice in the casserole dish and it's in the oven too cooking with the the um squash the sweet potatoes and now the ham so I'm getting ready to, in just a little while, fix the corn in the uh, uh, corn on the cob in the Minja Foodie, and I will bring you back when I get ready to do that. Okay, I'm getting ready to cook these, and they they are in the mesh uh, basket. And 
they're all standing up. I've got one cup of water in here, and I'm going to go on and put them on the pressure cooker. Whoops, got it turned around. All right, close it, lock it, turn it to um, ceiling. All right, now I've got to turn this around so it's crooked. All right, and let me see if I can get y'all down here so you can see. All right, so I'm going to, this is in my Ninja Foodie. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to go on pressure. It's going to come up on high. I'm going to go down to five minutes and press start. A lot of people do theirs for one minute, two minutes, something like that. I, I really like my corn done. <laughs> I don't like it so hard. So I always do it on five minutes. And then I just, I just as soon as it's done, I take it out. And so I will bring y'all back when our plates are ready. Okay, y'all, here is mine and Brittany's um, dinner. So I've got sweet potatoes, the ham, the squash, yellow squash and the zucchini. Got coleslaw, we've got tomatoes over there, which Brittany doesn't like tomatoes. We've got cucumbers right there. Got coleslaw right here. Brittany's got corn on the cob. I didn't want any corn on the cob right now. And I'm going to, I want to taste this ham and see if it is good. I didn't get to show y'all. I put mustard on it and then the brown sugar and then uh, pineapple and butter. All right. Mm, mm -mm. I love these ham steaks. But you also can get those little canned hams. And I've got a video on here um, somewhere. I'll see if I can link it down in, um, no, in, the, in the video. And y'all can see it. But where I cooked the canned hams, I think that now they, they used to be like $7.99. I think now they're like $10.99. I think it's a... Um, I'm not sure the name of it, but anyway, all right, and let me taste the, um, mm, these sweet potatoes look so good, so good, all right, oh, hot, mm -mm -mm. oh my gosh, they're so good, all right, now let me do the zucchini, the zucchini didn't, it's still real soft, I guess because I used parchment paper. Mmm. Oh, well. This is good, y'all. Mmm. All right. This is our dinner for the night. Well, my dinner. I don't know about Brittany, but it's my dinner for the night. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. And also, there'll be links below to different things that I use in my kitchen that you can purchase. And I hope you have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.